So come and follow me to the Story Museum. Um, I studied art at college, and uh, although I wanted to do book illustration, um, at the time I was advised to do graphics, which I didn't particularly enjoy, and then I soon gathered up and drifted into photography, but while I was doing that course, I enjoyed drawing so much, I realised that's what I wanted to do. So every about, to be honest, it was about ten years of drifting around, doing a bit of graphics, a bit of photography, then I got into animation studios, and I got into illustration, book illustration, which I realised ten years later was exactly where I wanted to go. But, um, it was a journey, but it was a good one. That's a really difficult question for me, in that I would love to do something like Winnie the Pooh or Winnie the Willows, but I'd be so inhibited by what's before me that I, I probably wouldn't do that. So I'd probably go for uh, one of the classics, another one of the classics. And I've always been drawn to Pinocchio for some reason. I think that would be, I've always thought that for my early career, and I think that would be quite nice to do. So, yeah. Well, I suppose I'm very lucky in that um, Douglas Douglas has just been optioned for a TV series. And my background is in animation, so I do, although I'm not trained in animation, I do, back, I do backgrounds and books on pieces in the studio for up to four years at the studio. So I've understand and really enjoyed that process of seeing drawings come to life. So working on, uh, and so I think a lot of my style and the way I draw has been influenced by that time. So there's a lot of movement, I think, in the way I draw. So. Um, Douglas, I think, would be perfect for animation. Douglas, Douglas. So when that came in, that's only just been announced recently. That's a really, real dream come true. So that's, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Follow me to the Story Museum.